This is Twit. Uh, I don't know what to think about this story, but I, I have to. I mean, it's fascinating. China has begun assembling a supercomputer in space. It is, they plan a 20, you know, we have, uh, as you know, we have uh, our own, you know, Starlink satellite network up there. They're planning to launch a 2800 satellite network, but instead of putting internet service providers up there they're going to put ai computers in these uh they're all part of a company called ada space which is out of out of china uh it's part of their star compute program the first of what they call the three body computing constellation which is i think pretty funny since the three body problem was a fascinating I sci-fi mean, what could possibly go wrong what could Nothing possibly could go, wrong. go wrong right yeah. that's the one where the scientist you know goes off the reservation and contacts the aliens and they and maybe that wasn't a good idea each of the uh, satellites that they've launched now has an onboard 8 billion parameter ai model capable of 744 tops that's a lot it's a lot more than you know any pc you'd have at home uh collectively says they can manage five ada space says they can manage five peta operations per second that's a new number for me pops they call that <laughs> a lot five. of skepticism on that that number there I yeah think. well yeah okay five pops is a lot that's m- more than 40 tops which is what it's, a it's, it's more than two pops has. two it's way more than two <laughs> Pops. It's way more than two pops is it more than zz top <laughs> <laughs> the no. eventual goal is to get 2,800 satellites up there and achieve 1,000 peta operations per second. They uh, communicate with each other using lasers, so they're, you know, that's pretty modern, up to 100 gigabits per second. They share to- in total 30 terabytes of storage. They're, they're, but I mean, what, what for? Uh, <laughs> yeah, what's, what's going on here? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. It. I mean, Skynet might actually be in the sky. I'm just saying. It would be the thing. I, I just want to put this number in perspective. Sc- yeah. Yeah. The 5090 has a has 3,300 tops. Yeah. So that's a 5090. Oh, is, yeah. Yeah. This is okay. Very expensive compared to these. Uh, yeah. These satellites, which is far less. But I'm 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 definitely the the person that says please and thank you to their chat GPT model just for, saying, <laughs> for when 100%. the great reckoning comes. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. you know they to know that I was great. It does solve the the issue of you're putting them in space, so cooling is not a problem, right? And no, I think it's the problem is cooling is a different problem. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Not that it solves the problem. It, no. It's definitely different than cooling is a different issue than what it is on Earth. Yeah. Um, I'm in a group chat of a bunch of AI people, and every time this pops up, there's the people who are like, oh, cooling is then solved. And all these physicists are like, no, it's just way different. Where's it going to go? It doesn't dissipate. It's just chilling there. Yeah, so it's um, radiation it's over dissipation. Like in space, you can only reduce heat via radiation, which is a very slow process. Oh, very interesting. See, this is exactly what happened. A bunch of people in a group chat, and then someone pops in with some physics. The voice of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In our case, so it's Har- Benito Harper, what, Harper, what's the answer? Uh, so I, I think this is a... Um, is this propaganda example. from China? No, 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 no. I don't think it is because this is the same thing that like there's a lot of American companies who are doing this as well. I think that what we're seeing is we're seeing um, a, a glimpse of where we're going. Um and the reason for that is exactly as we talked about with um, the the the, fin, the Finnish data the, the cooling system, right? Which is um, there's less space. It is sat in on the Earth. It's sadly taken by humans. There is all these pesky regulations about exhaust, about destruction of the environment, etc. That are getting in the way of turning everything into um, a data center. And this is when I call back into like the pave the Earth kind of. Um, propaganda from Usenet back in the day, remember all that? But it's like this kind of fun thing of like, oh, well, what if we just put it into space? Um, in the same way people say, oh, what if we just went to Mars? And, and there's very serious people working on these problems of like, what happens if we go to Mars? How do we have proper plants on Mars? So on and so forth. In the same way that these guys are like, well, let's put a 5090 up into space. What does that look like? What are the problems we're solving? How do we solve those problems? Because 
if they do solve that problem of cooling, of power, of all these things, it seems like there's a lot of space in space, um, you know, and, and most of it we're, we're, we're using to see the stars, um, but, but we don't need the stars. We just need GPUs. Here's a, a link to the NASA study, state-of-the-art small spacecraft technology. Uh, chapter 7 is thermal controls, passive radiation systems. NASA's thought a lot about this, heat pipes, deployable radiators, thermal louvers. Um, there, there's, you know, because it's not just, you know, Skynet, you've got to solve this. I mean, if you're going to put people in It'll space, you have to solve it. It's very expanse, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's very yeah. interesting. Well, there's there's definitely something there. I I think the question I always have with all of this stuff, and the same thing we were talking about AI agents that truly know me, that can replace my human assistant, is when does that happen, not if it happens. And I think that's the same with this. It's definitely going to happen. It's on its way. We're going to put some, you know... Um, infrastructure somewhere in space, so, you know, on the moon or, or in orbit or wherever, and that's going to then beam stuff back to us. Like, that's not crazy. That's what Starlink does, right, is it takes it right. and pushes it to us. Right. Um, that's mm-hmm. what these new phones do. That's very nice. We all agree with that. But so why is it so crazy that we try and put a data center up there? Right. I don't think this is a this is a wild, some wild idea. I think it's just... People are excited about what they're doing, so they're releasing claims very, very early. And yeah, when you start it's a little comparing too early. It to, to you're like, pops. I can go to Micro Center yeah. here in Chicago, pick up a 5090, put it in my house, and it heats yeah. my desk. Or I can spend $100 million <laughs> and shoot it into space. For less um, for less tops. For way less, less tops. tops. And, 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 but more pops. It has way more, more pops. pops. Yeah. More pops. Eventually. Can I, can I ask you? Can I ask you a question, Harper, which is you, you made an off-the-cuff remark, which might have just been off-the-cuff, which is uh, I can replace my human assistant with this. Yeah, that's coming. Would you want to replace your human assistant with this? I quite, I quite like my human assistant. I think it depends. Like, what if not everyone if, can afford an actual not everyone has yeah, an that's assistant. human yeah. Yeah. assistant? I would love an assistant. Yeah. Me too, but I can't afford an assistant. Hey, thank you for watching this little snippet from our big show, The News Roundtable, This Week in Tech. I'm Leo Laporte. Each week we cover the week's tech news, in-depth analysis, but it's also fun and engaging. You'll find it at twit.tv along with all of our shows. And if you want more, just hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll be sure to bring you a lot more great content. Thanks for listening.